Hello, welcome to Super Talks. I'm Dr. Adrian Vega, Superintendent of Schools for San Benito CISD. Today I would like to provide you with an update of the various happenings in the district since the last time we spoke. It's hard to believe that the end of the 2015-2016 school year is rapidly coming to a close. Although I became part of the SBCISD team and family midway through the year, it has been evident that students, staff, and parents have worked extremely hard this year to achieve great things. Speaking of achieving great things, on behalf of the Board of Trustees and Administration, I would like to personally congratulate the 2016-2017 San Benito CISD Campus Teachers of the Year. As you can see, the backdrop for today's Super Talks is a little different. Today we are honoring all of our Campus Teachers of the Year recipients with an awards luncheon. These outstanding teachers have been selected by their peers to represent their campus. They will get to keep their title until next year when their fellow peers select a new group of teachers. As you know, it is a great honor to be selected as the Campus Teacher of the Year. Once again, to all of the Campus Teachers of the Year, congratulations on having been selected as a 2016-2017 Teacher of the Year for your campus. These top teachers will be recognized at the Employee End of the Year Service Awards ceremony scheduled for Friday, June the 3rd at 8.30 a.m at San Benito Veterans Memorial Academy in the gymnasium. At that time, all these honorees will be recognized before the entire district staff, and at that point, we will make the official announcement and reveal the district's title winners, including the elementary title winner and the secondary title winner. As the district's top title winners, these two representatives will advance to the Region 1 competition and compete with other teachers from throughout our region. You will soon be able to see these honorees, this year's honorees, on some of our school buses. They will also get an opportunity to provide a special inspirational message at our Back to School Convocation in mid-August. For more information about all of our Teachers of the Year, please visit our website. I would also like to introduce Ms. Hilda Rendon to the San Benito CISD family. Although Ms. Rendon was officially approved by the Board of Trustees last month to serve as our new Chief Financial Officer, Ms. Rendon officially began serving in her new role this week. Before joining the San Benito CISD family, Ms. Rendon previously served as the Chief Financial Officer for the Santa Rosa Independent School District since 2009. Ms. Rendon has over 27 years of experience in the area of school finance and district leadership. In getting to know Mrs. Ren Ms. Rendon, I know that the opportunity to serve as the district CFO is extra special for her in that she is a San Benito High School alumnus. Thus, as the saying goes, once a greyhound, always a greyhound. Welcome aboard, Ms. Rendon. We are only about two weeks away from the end of the school year, which means that we are only about two weeks away from another graduating class. Of the over 600 plus students graduating, many of them will be attending colleges, universities, or joining the military or the workforce. Having seen firsthand the dedication and commitment that all of our teachers and administrators have shown for all of our students, I have no doubt that our graduates will be prepared for life after high school. If you plan on attending graduation, it is scheduled for Friday, June the 3rd at 7.30 p.m. at Bobby Morrow Stadium. I look forward to seeing you there. I'd like to inform our community that our communications department will stream the commencement ceremonies live. Please check the district's website and our social media for more details as the date gets closer. The creation of our district's five-year strategic plan, Reimagine 2021, is still underway. 
Since the last time we spoke, the district, board members, and the community have come together for two, week, two work sessions, but we still have two more to go. Our next work session is scheduled for this Saturday, May 21st, with a follow-up session on Saturday, May 28th. Each session will begin promptly at 8.30 a.m., with a breakfast and registration beginning at 8 a.m. If you would like more information or would like to attend, please visit our website for more information. As mentioned, we only have about two weeks of school left. Accordingly, as we close out another school year, I want to mention that we will be offering summer school to those students who need additional support and assistance in preparation for next year. We encourage you to visit the district's website for the times and locations of our summer school programming and schedule. Similarly, for teachers and staff, the Superintendent Advisory Council recently approved the district's professional development summer catalog and course offerings. Please be sure to sign up for these great sessions before it is too late. This information can also be found on the district's website. With that said, before I wrap up, please be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for the most up-to-date information and events that are happening throughout our district. Even though school ends in about two weeks, the learning never stops, as evidenced by many extracurricular activities that will be taking place this summer. It's important to note that as summer schedules for events such, an enrichment, such as enrichment camps and athletic clinics for the youth become available, we will promote those via the website, social media, and local newspapers. In closing, I would like to remind everyone about the amazing opportunity that we all have on a daily basis to impact the lives of our students, families, and each other when we release the best of ourselves. So. Until next time, release the hound.